Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher. Today is 29th of June 2017. And recently I've got an interesting question which is in front of you. Does silver follow similar cycles to those of gold that we've been discussing for a few months already since December last year? Since I have started posting these analysis videos to this YouTube channel. Okay, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that question. In front of us is a weekly chart of gold price going back a little bit more than three years. Each candle here represents one week, as I mentioned. This is a weekly chart. And on this weekly chart of gold, we see these sort of cycles, intermediate cycles in gold, which last for about half a year. So we measure the cycles from the low to the low. The cycle here, another one, another one. In total, I think there are about nine or ten cycles over the last over three years, more than three years. Generally, each cycle lasts for about half a year. And those are called intermediate cycles. There are shorter term cycles, um, three, four or five shorter term cycles within each of these intermediate cycles. They are not clearly visible on this weekly chart, but they are more clearly visible on a daily chart of gold price. Now let's have a look at silver. Here is the weekly chart of silver over the same time period. And if we measure these intermediate cycles in silver from low to low, we will see a picture like this. Again, we see 9 or 10 cycles over this same time frame of uh, slightly more than 3 years. These cycles generally last for half a year as well. But the range between the shortest cycle and the longest cycles is slightly greater here. A more interesting question is whether these lows in the cycles, the cycle timings, coincide for gold and silver. And as we see here, they generally come at a similar time. The cycles end and the new cycles start both for gold and silver at generally similar timing, although sometimes um, the cycles don't coincide for several weeks. For several weeks. So a simple answer to this question is yes, silver does follow somewhat similar cycles to those of gold. However, it's not a precise lockstep movement. Another interesting thing to have a look at is the returns that you could get from these gold cycles. First, let's have a look at gold. If you are extremely lucky to buy gold at this very bottom and extremely lucky to sell gold at this very top, then you would get a return of 20%. But, of course, it's very difficult to say when the, top, the bottom has actually taken place. And uh, whenever you are at, at, at this point, imagine that you don't see the rest of the of the chart. If you're at this point, you are not sure whether gold is going to continue up or whether gold is topping at this point. So if you are extremely lucky to buy at the very lows, to sell at the very tops, which of course is not guaranteed, then you will get the returns shown on the screen. So 20% in the middle of 2013, another 17% in early 2014, another 8% in the middle of 2014. At the end of 2014, another 15%, 7% next cycle, 9, 22, 14, and 12% or so in our current ongoing cycle, which I think should um, bottom in a few weeks. So the average gain per cycle over the last 9 cycles is just under 14%. So this is not an annual gain, this is a gain per cycle, which means potentially per year you can earn just under 28%. How much does it make? That makes 27.6% on average per year. But of course this is not guaranteed and it ex it's ex 
extremely unlikely to be entering at the very bottoms and exiting at the very tops of these cycles. Now let's have a look at the returns that are potentially possible uh, in silver. Again, 36% uh, in this case in the middle of 2013, 15% in early 2014, 14% in the middle of that year, 31% at the end of 2014, 17% in the middle of 15, and 17% uh, next cycle, 27% next cycle, 27% again the cycle after that, and in the current cycle, um, some might have gained about 16%. And again, let me repeat, this is if that someone is extremely lucky to buy at the very bottom and to sell at the very top. And the average gain here in silver is 22.2%, over 22%, compared to an average gain per cycle in gold of under 14%. So potentially it's possible to earn more if you invest in silver per year that's uh, over 44 percent gain per year um, but of course there are slightly greater risks as well in silver since there is more volatility this jumpiness in price if you turn out to be incorrect in your prediction then uh, the move down in silver uh, can also be more significant than a move down in gold. So uh, if we are correct in our predictions trading silver can potentially give us more returns however there are slightly more risks as well if forecasts are not correct since volatility is greater in silver. Uh, that is my answer to the question does silver follow similar cycles to those of gold and um, Again, as always, remember this is not investment advice, however I do wish you luck and I uh, thank you for your attention and we do appreciate comments and likes under this video. Thank you.